Copper City Salmon. Yep, that's what I call it. Copper City Salmon. And we got fresh salmon from Market 32, which is your former price chopper. They're now uh, spending uh, $300 million to remodel all their stores into Market 32, which is pretty impressive. Look at that beautiful salmon there. Now I got two fillets for Friday, but I'll save one fillet for next week. This fillet, obviously, for Friday fish day. I see the openings. I always like to smell salmon. You shouldn't have a you shouldn't have a really good but look at the color. a beauty. And we're going to stick that right on the no-stick pan. One day I forgot to put oil on this pan, and then I discovered I don't need oil on the pan, because it just didn't bother sticking. Copper City salmon, really simple. I had to wash my hands, by the way. Wash your hands before you do anything else after handling raw fish. Raw chicken, raw beef, and we'll just uh, rub in the butter a little bit. Should have melted it, but it'll melt just fine. Just leave that little chunk right on top. I use breadcrumbs, usually Italian style. This is a pretty thick piece of fish, so I'm going to be co cooking it in the toaster oven, nice and slowly, on a low heat. No more than 350 degrees. Yes, that's right, folks, 350 degrees. Once it's done cooking, I'll take it out, and of course I'll start up the video again, and... I will be putting on provolone cheese on the top of it. There's really not much to it. A spice I like to use on my salmon is garlic and herb. I use the salt-free version because, well, everything in the grocery stores have too much salt. And I don't use a lot. I try not to. I try not to put anything on the fish that's going to take away the taste of the fish. Too many people do that. Too many chefs do that. Gordon Ramsay. But me, I don't. So I'll put this in the toaster oven. Yup, I said toaster oven. Cooks perfectly in my toaster oven. And there's our big piece of beautiful salmon. That's about one pound right there. Actually, it is. It's about two. It's exactly. 16.2 ounces to be exact. And all I used was a little bit of uh, garlic and herb salt free. Put some breadcrumbs on it. Rub some uh, real butter on it. And now for the city salmon. Just take a little bit of provolone cheese. Or you can use a lot, used to your tasting. I prefer provolone, 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 provolone. And you can use really any cheese you want, but you really don't want to use a cheese that takes away the flavor of the fish. Provolone mozzarella will do the trick. That is the Copper City uh, Salmon. It doesn't any take other very much. Cheese, it like really I said, takes take your salmon, fresh salmon. And just stick that Rub back a little in the bit oven of real butter on minutes, top of it. Cheese milk. Add some breadcrumbs, Italian or plain or pinko breadcrumbs. Put a little bit of garlic and herb seasoning on it. I put a little bit of minced garlic around the pan so the flavor would soak into the fish a little bit. Plus, I just like the smell of garlic. And some sea salt, which I used on my vegetables, which is peas. And 
For cheese, definitely use provolone or mozzarella cheese. That's the way the cheese uh, flavor does not steal away 